Tournament. This time around, we've got Pa versus uh, the 107. We're fighting <laughs> over the scar on Kirkton Forest. I'm joined here with First Lieutenant Rob. Hey, everybody. Here we go. Let's see the scar. Very exciting. Uh, how do you want to record today, uh, Sparrow? You want to hit the? I'll hit the. Mm, I'll hit the North Pass side. If you want to cover from the uh, Siegfried Line side. Sure. Cool. All right. It looks like uh, hasn't spawned everybody in. They, they, I guess they're holding spawns to have a massive spawn wave like they've done in the past. Meanwhile, we're seeing 107th feeling three armor, small, medium, heavy, as well as troop transport and supply truck. Um, so we got one extra person on the one above. Yeah, I'm working on it. Ready. So uh, and it looks like I'm gonna get that supply truck right up in there and it I like this is gonna be interesting. So they're doing small, medium, heavy from 107th. What what kind of armor are we seeing from We only got a heavy from uh Ta here, the two man. So it should be interesting, but Ta tends to rely more on uh having that initial infantry push come from a garrison. Rather than having everybody spawn in and spawn and load a bunch of infantry. So, yeah. It has worked out, but it leaves them rather vulnerable as they don't tend to put up a lot of garrison pieces. I can see the uh, supply truck from the 107 as it reaches the top of the hill on the six feet line with the commander in it. Yeah, so right where the TAW supply truck is going is right where they're going to, where 107th is shelling. So I'm really excited to see if they're able to squeeze through. Oh, and they just got taken out. Oh, no. Oh, the TA that's so big. Well, all right. They have a transport truck up in the north. The fact that they took out that, that supply truck is huge. I... Wow, that was the Stewart, I believe, from 107 picking that vehicle. I will say it might not be the end all be all. As we see, it looks like their troop transport from TAW is in position. And right now, only uh, we just had a massive spawn ways from 107. So I think it's still going to be a pretty even push getting in there. But man, what a shot! Yeah, but that Yeah, and this is going to be an interesting moment for TAW to see how they respond to a little bit of adversity early on. Now, I like how 107th has their armor. They have a pretty widespread of armor that is already doing some significant harassing. Ooh. As we're seeing TW just getting, having some trouble with that armor being able to pepper them as they're trying to get into the point. Yeah, getting after it and picking those troop transports is 
the game changer. So it's rather interesting to watch the 107 and how they're moving through the trenches here. They have an entire squad set up in the trench system itself. have some people going to attack salient, but I don't know how far they're actually going to get from that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how AW responds here. Um, I'm actually going to rotate over to salient, um, just to keep on and make sure everyone stays in bounds. Uh, but to... Yeah. You know, meanwhile though, TW does have a squad committed on salient and they've pretty much already been able to answer any kind of pressure that's been sent their way. But the TW squad is playing pretty far up, so it'll be interesting to see if 107 tries to get that uh, airhead in behind them. Yep, that's pretty good. Meanwhile, 107 has only three. But we do see some cap progress on the SCAR. So TAW just doing the massive pressure wave. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if they're, if 107 is going to have to bail out on this attack. As they do have two squad size elements trying to push in the salient. But with cap progress, they must be thinking like, hmm. Maybe we aren't going to be able to commit damage forces. Perfect. Size, so fairly even matchup. Ta is slowly advancing down the trench system, but this light tank on the hill is just trying to take out as many of the cows as it can. Meanwhile, what kind of response are you seeing from the TAW armor? Is that heavy tank in a position where it can maybe start to counter that or t that armor fire? Meanwhile, oof, some really accurate artillery shells from 107th is actually disrupting the TAW defense. As the TAW was trying to take an advantageous trench position for the attack, and now we've seen artillery has all but wiped completely the squad that was in place to defend salient. So some really active and accurate artillery play being showcased right here by the 107th. Meanwhile, you do see the recon element from 107th starting to get in and around the forward defensive forces from TAW. You know, controversial play. I think it makes a lot of sense to have that forward force trying to kind of box out the offense, but it does leave themselves super vulnerable as the recon element is getting in behind. But once again, we are seeing the cap progress go towards TAW on the scar. Meanwhile, we see the 107th is concerned over the taking of the SCAR as now they're in that critical judgment call. Are they going to have faith in their defense and keep this two squad level assault or are they going to fall back? And this is the really tricky point for the commander. Usually Hell at Loose rewards those who play conservative, but we'll see. Maybe 107th can get their defense ripping and rolling again. Um, uh, and like the Meanwhile, we're, see 
Yep, meanwhile, we're seeing two sections trying to. Ass it's a two on one assault section right now as the TAW defensive squad doing a really good job holding off these two 107 sections as TAW Kalipo gets a couple good wins, a couple good P gunfights. It's all out there, approach. Yeah, right now, really interesting play from Charlie Recon Squad Tick. He's actually getting in behind the hundreds, the Taz lines, and that could be incredibly d disruptive. Also, reinforce on point without a garrison from 107th. But I really appreciate Stick's approach to realize, hey, they're taking the scar. We got to redirect our focus. Um, 107th did put an airhead in behind the lines on salient, but doesn't look like they're going to be able to capitalize on it. But I think that's a really heads up play from the recon to say, hey, what's the point of going after salient right now when we're losing the scar? We got to cover our defense before we can start pushing the capris. So I think that's a real heads up play as they reestablish the garrison on the scar. Uh, interesting to see how well Stig and, and, and Critical Fail are going to be able to disrupt that TW push from the recon presence in the rear. Yep. Meanwhile, we do see some forces from the 107th redeployed on salient, and we are starting to see cap progress onto salient itself. So, here comes the cap race. So the question is going to be, with that reinforce now starting to let up from TW, uh, is 107th going to be able to win this cap race? Uh, we're seeing the defensive squad from TW are winning a lot of gunfights and they're starting to full in. However, it seems like they've yet to become aware of that airhead drop in with two sections worth of infantry pushing into salient. TW is definitely in a very vulnerable position at this moment as they no longer also are no longer capping the scar. I mean, I would definitely recommend a fallback at this point with, you know, over halfway capped, even with the reinforce. As you're seeing, the 107 is starting to engulf the point. How's the assault on the scar going for TAW? Meanwhile, it looks like 107 has pretty commanding map control all around the salient, and I think we're going to see a full cap here from 107th. A really great defense from 100. Some really impressive defense from 107th. Able to recapture the scar, and then a quick, very gutsy move, getting that airhead in and redeploying to make that cap. And it looks like. Ooh, after a couple of quick gunfights, one by well, well, I like lead lead, uh, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Oh, and with a massive spawn from TW, we're seeing it go back the other way. Really, it's all on well, I like lead to continuing those gunfights because I think the second he goes down, we're gonna see this flip. And there goes lead. 
But with him down, it looks like 107th will probably be able to pull this up. I don't know. It's going to be close. It looks like it's going. Uh, I think it's going to go. And oh, there it there is. It There's is. the cap. The question is how quick can Ta and 107 redeploy? And now right over sailing. going to end probably yeah. in 59 minutes here. I didn't see the exact second one. 59 minutes, 15 seconds. So let them know that EW has till 59 minutes. Uh, they must capture by 59 minutes and 50 seconds. I will say TW looks like they have a pretty commanding presence to recap salient. Um. Hey, uh, Steph says, Monty, can you turn around? You're going out of bounds, buddy. Yeah, we are seeing cap progress towards for Tau as they've been winning their gun fights on point. But... Yeah, I'm on him. Hey, uh, guys, you're out of bounds. Can you please turn around and move back into bounds? Thank you. Make sure we're not on the wrong side of the line, please. Thanks, guys. Uh, that kill was a solid on the tank, but let's just keep it in bounds. Thanks, guys. I will say though, right now, um, TW has pretty good control over. I will not be surprised to see a recapture here. As TW is making their way back into the point. Yeah, but I can see. Well, I, I'm on the map edge right now. I can see the 107 just pushing in through that forest and getting rid of any kind of offensive there. I will say, I'm kind of actually. I'm actually kind of surprised. Oh, there's the cat progress. I was gonna say TW does own the hill on salient. They own it, but people are still getting in there. Looks like Ta isn't committing everybody to the salient approach. They've got some people on the scar itself, which could be a mistake. I if they're able to take this hill and actually win this cap, but it, it looks like as more and more of the 107s just start pushing in to the point, they're just going to start killing them. Yeah, this is tough. It's really going to come down to gunfights. It's pretty much even numbers on the point, TAW 107th, and it, it's really just going to be a matter of who's winning their gunfights. Right now, it seems like the gunfights are going in favor of 107. They just have more people on point, and they've got OPs and explosives needed to keep that pressure on it. I mean, they're probably going to try and hold out as long as possible just so that they can get another reinforce on there and just delay as much as possible. Because even if Ta recaptures, it takes a lot of time to then try and push up. I can see one of the 107s can't tell if it's a 76 or 75 start to push up the road here. Yeah. I will say, TW has successfully completely cleared everything off of Scar. Um, so if they are able to recapture here, it would be a quick back and forth. I just... doesn't look like TW quite has the numbers they need, though, to actually retake the point. 
Especially with the armor. The armor, I think, is making a massive difference for 107th right now. However, now that we're getting into the salient and so close to the German lines, once that armor goes down, I suspect the CETW will have that armor advantage come back their way pretty quickly. Um, and that's going to be a really... It could, it could change the difference in their ability to recap salient. bombing run from CAW and they're pushing in. We'll see if they're able to capitalize on that monster. Yeah, that is really what they needed right now as they start making some cap progress rushing into this point. Wow, that was a baller bombing run. Now it's just a matter if they can just get close enough to start dropping their OPs, they might be able to push 107th out of their entrance position. Uh, just like is TW out of munitions? Some artillery rounds coming in would be massive right now yeah, for them. Oh yeah, so they're probably trying to be conservative. Meanwhile, 107th has been able to reestablish garrisons on the scar. Is TAW still committing their forces to trying to hold That's the area around the scar? Uh, yep. Can you let them know that that is recon and that is fair game? So that is a recon cap, so they must respond to that capture progress on logging camp. You, uh, but you put it in text chat to let him know? Uh, okay. Yeah, I told him recon is cap and logging camp. Fair game. Perfect. Meanwhile, forces, but that's all they need right now. Uh, meanwhile, TW has successfully destroyed the 107th armor presence. Um, so now we'll see if that change in armor superiority will go into favor. Oh, meanwhile, uh, we got TW Jumbaya getting in behind, getting down the 107th garrison. And, oh wow, he could, all the 107th OPs are all on top of each other, and they've yet to respond. Oh, Jumbaya might have a play of a game right here, as he starts to get in on all the OPs from 107th. He is just so close. If he's, he's just trying to squeeze his way around to see if he can't get into that critical outpost area. Meanwhile, 107th has lost most of their garrisons. Good play though. Like I said, one artillery shell on that back line could really do be disruptive for 107th as they are just getting swarmed on the point as TW knows that it's all or nothing here. And here goes the cap progress. Yeah, 107th is definitely in trouble with this swarming assault coming from TW. With TAW's armor superiority, I would not be surprised to see this go in TAW's favor. Yeah, it's just been this slow kind of uh, advance from Ka as they push on the sound on all fronts. Uh, meanwhile, uh, 107th only has the one garrison on point and one garrison north, so TAW has really done a number on their spawn game for 107th. 
But man, is salient just the most brutal point to try to assault? Yeah, that guy that actually was pretty good at intelligence right there. Meanwhile, we got TW fighting into the point. Starting to drop the OPs from 107th. I think this might be it. Oh, TW. Now it's down to Don Petroleum and a big spawn from 107th as their garrisons are going down and TW is swarming. They are all pushing in, but TW seems to be choking them out. As we see, most of the 107 spawns are being evaporated right in front of our eyes. Another big spawn from TAW. And 107 just trying to cling to life as the gunfights are back and forth. I wonder if they're going to put a reinforcement on that they're just going to save the manpower. And just blood and carnage as TAW is doing everything they can to wipe out the remaining spawns from 107. What's the uh, 107 uh, garrison situation look like past this point? Nothing. They have one in the north, and then only one backup garrison, not even in the scar zone. And here comes a bombing run from the 107th! That is devastating for TAW! Wow! That was almost like a... This had to be like 20 people. Wow! Massive bombing run from 107th. As both teams just clinging to life, trying to capture Salient. That was at least 8 people. Oh man, at 107 just trying to hold on by the skin of their teeth as TW continues their push despite a devastating bombing run. Oh, and it looks like it, it looks like Salient's gonna be recaptured by TAW. And there it is, the recapture. What a fight! Wow, that was awesome. So I guess here comes the next question. All right, the scar. Do they try and? this position on salient i mean i know i feel like 107's got a garrison or something north of salient they do but it was just wiped with that last push meanwhile the 107th is now pushing their armor assets back to the scar to try to re-secure as they only have about two garrisons in the vicinity of the scar Yeah, meanwhile, TW hasn't seemed like they want to move off of Salient as they keep most of their forces on the point. No massive redeploy from them. You mean 107? Uh, from TW as they're just totally locking down Salient. Wow, what a, what a fight. I, that's one for the highlight reels. That was exciting. Yeah, and like give credit to 107 that bombing run. Oh man, that was almost just enough, but almost an entire TAW squad was able to get safe harbor within a bunker to keep that push alive, and just enough to swipe the remaining outposts and garrisons to push 107 off the point. Um, so I'll continue to monitor the situation salient if you want to rotate towards. The scar, see what kind of assault they're going to be able to put together. Meanwhile, the 107th has successfully re established the strong garrison game around the scar. Yeah, they have two heavies overlooking as well as a third heavy in the score itself. So, 107 is definitely bringing the dominant armor presence. 
T A W today. Yeah. The armor presence what won them the scar, I think, in the first place. They just had three tanks in different positions just pounding on the infantry advance and they went downhill onto the point. So they were Yeah, couple of that. Yeah, couple that with the sneaky pick from the Stuart to really set TAW back on their initial assault. Really has put TAW on the back foot, but man, what a fantastic maneuver to recapture salient from the TAW side. I gotta say, I'm pretty sure it was all thanks to, uh, I want to say Jambalaya, but I know that's not his name. Yeah, getting in there. Because what he did was, is he actually took out the garrison and forced 107th to replace it within the wire on salient, and that actually forced a clustering effect that when the pressure did come, all their outposts and garrisons had no breath. So it made it, so TAW, where their assault was coming in, was immediately able to re-secure and destroy that garrison, making it 107th in tough shape to actually hold salient. <laughs> so with just under 15 minutes to play it looks like tw definitely has their work cut out for them if they're going to recapture the scar i will say though by retaking salient they are definitely in this match as round two now all they have to do is get that recapture which is a much easier job than trying to win back after being mercy ruled. Meanwhile, TW has successfully, successfully sniffed out some of the 107th attempts to get in and around and start assaulting. Get some close-ups of some uh, gunfights here in the forest as Delps takes on Biohazard Bravado. Great small arm engagements going on off the point in in around salient. TW is trying to make some pressure in on uh, the scar though. Top of that. Good catch. So let them know, and I'd say give them like two minutes, and then if they can't rectify it in two minutes, we'll just kick the most recent person to uh, join. Good stuff. T 
Yeah, I think 107th, they are trying to get some kind of pressure. Their recon element is a thorn the side of TW on salient. But right now, there's some really good s small squad arm tactics going on between the recon and the TAW defense, who's really making it difficult for either recon squad to get any pressure in on salient. Yeah, meanwhile, we're getting into some recon versus the small squad sections as they try to sniff each other out in the forest of Hurricane. Yeah, I think 107 is also quite content to just let their recon see what they can do. Um, as they maybe send one squad size element apart from the recon to start putting a little bit of pressure on. But definitely not a whole lot as they're probably pretty satisfied to just hold that middle cap with just an almost five, only five minutes left. Meanwhile, we have Mini Dude from the 107th looking like they're starting to try to push themselves into Stanley as we start to see a little bit of pressure coming from 107th to maybe try to recapture Stanley. <laughs> Yep, and I think that's probably, on their view, that's probably one of the advantages I would send 107th ways as far as a difference maker is just that armor superiority. I think TW has some really great armor crewmen, um, and traditionally, especially on Earth, Old Hurricane, you know, armor is not your friend, um, but I think 107th is showing just how effective the armor can be, especially on the Scar Stronghold. Meanwhile, we're actually seeing a significant force from 107. Now about three squad size elements starting to push into salient, whereas TW this time is taking the approach of being a little bit more conservative, defending from the hills of salient itself. So it'll be interesting to see if TW, now that we've seen a pretty significant force from, actually I'm going to announce, we're about the five minute warning mark, um, but now we're, yeah, and now we're seeing the 107th looking like they're going to make one last ditched assault on the salient to see if they can't for that extra point late in the round. 
However, with TAW armor support, it's going to be a tough call for 107th to really breach in the salient. No, and that's where it's still just so hard. If, if your commitment to attack is to flank, you have to make it be an all or nothing flank. Um, just because it's so easy to get swept in from behind just by the sheer number of garrisons the defensive team can place. Really forces you to, if you're going to make that push. Oh, interesting bombing room from 107. So that did manage to wipe out couple of troopers on yep and we're seeing cap progress from 107th after that bombing run was able to take out just a couple yeah, I saw a TW defenders Yeah, so now we're getting into the the clutch decisions. What do you do? 47, 47, two and a half minutes or so to go. Do you fold in on Scar with the, right now 107th looking at one outpost, one garrison, or do you go for salient? It's all or nothing. Some cap progress on salient. Meanwhile, no cap progress on Scar. What do you do? This is the make or break. Like Are you in on the attack or in on the defense? And this is going to be a photo finish, folks, with cap progress going on both Salient and the Scar with just about two minutes left. Oh, man. This is going to be insane. What's the, uh, the bo power situation look like for 107th? Uh, 107th is sitting at 10, but they could do some conversions. So 107th, with just under two minutes to play, does have an opportunity here on Scar. Or excuse me, on Salient. I would say the Scar with under two minutes and no cap progress. If I'm TAW, I'm all in on defending Salient. If I'm 107th, I know the time that's left. I'm saying I'm all in on the Salient. Let's try to cap this guy. The fight right now is all about Salient with the time that's left. Scar is getting cap progress right now. But so. I don't think it's going to be enough time with only a minute and a half to do a full cap. Meanwhile, all cap progress has gone against 107th, so the salient is under control. I'm going to rotate over to the SCAR, um, since now there is not enough time in game for the 107th to capture the salient, so we'll see how this photo finish wraps up at the SCAR. With uh, just 55 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to do a quick score check as we are approaching the 30 second mark just so we can capture that last 30 seconds. Because this will be a photo finish if cut progress on Scar is consistent. I don't think... I don't think they're going to have enough time. Yeah, 15 seconds, they won't have enough time to cap. Uh, you want to get ready to flip the map here in the next 10 seconds? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.